girl, I can't, I don't even know the lyrics to that song. Hey, chickadees, long time no see. Oh my gosh. How's my hair look? I trimmed it up last night because I'm going on a mother effing date right now. Date. Girl, I don't even know what we are. Okay, so I feel like I have to catch you guys up on some stuff. I like just got back from getting gas. Can you believe I'll show you my receipt? I spent $39. Oh, it's like reverse. $39 on gas. This is why I don't like letting my like my tank get so empty. Because then the next time I fill up, it's like more expensive. Whereas if I like fill up like just under the halfway mark then like it's $30 so it just feels like it's cheaper does that make sense I don't know but okay should I wear the hat inside or should I just leave the hat off like I had the hat on I think the hat's fine you think the hat's fine yeah it's fine okay chickadees I need like your advice so what should I do with these sunglasses like are these sunglasses like actually good looking on me or they look stupid because like this is like how I was driving around right like do you think I should switch to like a different color like a silver or you think these are fine look in the camera I think they're fine because it's hard like looking at my like mirrors to see because my car is like kind of so dark on the inside that like I can't really get an accurate like vision because I'm just overthinking everything. Okay, so where do we start? Okay, so today is Friday. So yesterday was Thanksgiving. Happy belated Thanksgiving, chickadees. I didn't make any videos yesterday. I'm so sorry. I should have like filmed like at least the kitchen table or something, but I didn't. So when's so okay, so let's do like a little recap. Remember like how I was having my whole like breakdown on Monday, being like, oh, S doesn't love me anymore, like he's pulling away, blah blah blah. So I decided to not respond to him for 24 hours like he did to me. So I responded back to him finally, I think on Tuesday to, or on Wednesday. I, don't, I forget when it was. I think it was Wednesday. And then he was like, oh, you know, I forget what lets what because I just delete the text because like I don't even want him on my phone. Like I deleted his contact from my phone. So, um... He basically was just like, um, oh, why didn't you text back? Whatever, something like that. And I was like, oh, just been like having a really like off week. Whatever. You know, I'm just, I'm just made fluff up, made stuff up to see what his response would be. So he ended up being like, oh, well, I want to see you today. Like, that's how it always is with him. It's always like, it's always like whenever it's most convenient for him, it's like, let's do it right this second. So stupid me went over because I got off work at 12. So I went to his place around like 12, 1240 and his roommate wasn't home. So like, that's why like he wanted me to come to his house. And like, it was so weird because like seeing him, like he felt like a stranger almost. And I don't know, like I was just not myself. And like, it's exact, like, I think like because I exposed like to myself that like I no longer am interested in him it was just really awkward and like hard to like maintain interest in anything he was saying because I just felt like can I go home <laughs> so <laughs> and it was just like all the same stuff like he was talking about how like he bought paint um and he's gonna paint like these walls in his house black and I'm just like that's such a stupid idea. Why would you ever paint a wall in your house black? That is the worst idea ever. Like, never in a million years, chickadees, ever paint a, any wall in your house black. That is a horrible idea. The reason why is because it is going to make the room automatically look smaller, darker, and less inviting. It doesn't matter if, like, you're trying to be, like, artsy and edgy. But from a general population standpoint, a black wall just looks suspicious. It just looks suspicious. It looks bad. So that's what he was trying to do. He wanted to do like a really, really big wall black. And I told him, no, he should just do like these two smaller walls. And he was like, okay. And then he's like talking about redoing his kitchen. And then he showed me. So then we went up to his like bedroom and like we cuddled in his bed and he put like this tacky like YouTube video on of like one of those like bros that like 
you know, like those business bros, like who like lifts a bunch of like weights and like has a t-shirt company and, you know, goes on like vacations to Dubai and shit. So we watched that. That was like really stupid. And it was weird because like the video was basically like, if you're starting a new business, um, like you don't want to start a relationship. Like you can't get into a relationship. And I'm just like, why are we watching this? Because it's like, are you trying to tell me something? But then when I got home, because I'm subscribed to this dude too. Um, but when I got home, I realized that like, it was like a literal like brand new video that he posted. So he, there's no way he would like watched it beforehand. So I think that was like a, a big sign that like, first of all, he shouldn't even be looking for a relationship. And then we was, started watching the Matt Rife comedy special on Netflix. And literally the entire time he was just like bashing like the beginning of it, like the dude had some funny jokes. I'm not gonna lie, but he did bash on like us astrology baddies a lot. And like, there is some truth to it, but like, it also was kind of just making fun of me. And then like S was kind of like laughing at me and being like, haha, that's you. And I'm like, oh, that's not funny. Like, like, it's not a joke if I'm not laughing. So if you're the only one laughing, then you're laughing at me. And then that's just not funny. So I just like kept quiet and I was just like, okay, whatever. So then he was like, okay, well, I want to buy like this art for this like um, wall. Like I was at Home Goods earlier looking. Let's go to Home Goods and buy the painting. So yet again, what did I tell y'all, chickadees? He always does the same things with me. So like we went to that same restaurant. We were going to Home Goods again. This is our second time going to Home Goods. Like, what? I'm just like, oh my God, you really think? Like, take yourself out of your narcissistic ego inflated head for five seconds and think, do you really think that this guy that you've known for only a month wants to listen to you whine and complain about how your shower is leaking water into your dining room and you want to renovate your house and you're just so stressed because you just can't focus on anything because you're just so worried about that and blah, 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 blah. And oh, let's go to Home Goods to buy this painting. And then we ended up not buying the painting because it was too too big to fit in his car. So then he was all like, man, I can't buy the painting. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, dude, you are like, I can't. I can't. And then he was hating on my Tims. He was hating on the Tims, bitch. Immediately, your ex out. I'm sorry, but I love my Timberlands. And you're going to hate on them? Oh, baby. Why are you hating on them? Because you can't afford some? Because hmm. you can't afford a pair? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so that was like really annoying. Um, but yeah, like I, he, he could sense that like it was over. And then he kept being like, oh, like when you kiss me, it feels like you didn't miss me because you've been getting some. Like, you know, it hasn't been a while for you, if that makes sense. Like, so he knows I've been, like, messing around with other people. And I was just like, mm, whatever. Um, so he hasn't messaged me at all. Like I said, I think, I think, like, that is going to be, like, the last I ever hear from him. I think he's, he might do, it was it, very similar to how, like, me and Austin ended, like, those last moments of with Austin. So I feel like he might send me, like, a text, like, in a couple days that's like basically being like oh yeah like I just don't think this is gonna work out like I just got so much I'm focusing on and you know blah 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 you know the and if he doesn't do that then like I'm just gonna like be very very short with him and kind of just hope that he catches the jish so moving right along moving right along we have H so me and H are going to get Mexican food and margaritas. Well, I think I'm going to get a margarita. I don't think he's going to get one. He's going to judge me for getting one. <laughs> but I haven't had margarita in so long. So I'm going to get a margarita or whatever. Um, oh my God, I have to pee so bad. But yeah, things like with us are going just fine. Like, um, like I'm still kind of confused. We've been like Snapchatting for like a month, over a month now. Like, it's kind of crazy. It was so crazy, too, because on Wednesday when me and S hung out, that was our one month anniversary of, like, meeting each other. Like, wow. We made it to a month. But, um, 
so yeah so h like we're gonna like i don't know like i don't really know what we are like i guess we're just friends at this point like we're just friends like we don't have a label we're not doing anything sexual like we're just friends so ew i looked really like cross-eyed right there um and then casey the oh I just thought I just doxed his full name. I'll just call him Casey, whatever. He's the guy who I, the sneaky link. I messaged him and like he seemed to not like he seemed to be like interested. Oh my god, I think I think H is here. Ugh. To be continued. <gasps> Bye chicken.